Hey guys and welcome back to Best Practice TV and Best Practice Certification. We're obviously shooting some video today and we're live on Facebook and I think this is a really important time in the history of Australia and equally a really important issue for all of the organisations that participate as part of the audience of, of uh, Best Practice and that is that this concept of data security. What we've got here is a press conference around a really important national issue which is data security and in the instance here we've just in the last 24 hours tried to complete a national survey of all of the people that are out there in the community and the population. It's the census, the Australian census for 2016. Now that's a really important topic from any organisation's perspective and, and you know the Australian government is in fact a company that, that makes fact-based decisions and runs their organisations using data and I think what's really important is to put the context around what's happening here is that's how we run best practice, that's how we encourage all of you guys out there to run your businesses and, and the different things that you're doing is to be looking at the numbers and, and checking checking out that, that sort of stuff and, and using that hashtag that we have which is improving every day. The issue today is, is that moving business online is starting to protect that information and it's important that yes make that information avail available to the right people but in this instance there's been a significant amount of disruption. I think it's safe to say that the process that was designed for the consumer which was the Australian population didn't run and it didn't run on time and so it's important to understand that um, that is a disruption to data and it's disruption to business um, in this instance. So what the reasoning is doesn't really matter. It's it's about the integrity of your systems and the integrity of your processes and continuing to operate your business. So what's effectively happened today is that this business, the Australian government, has effectively gone into shutdown. They couldn't do their job, they couldn't provide for their customers, they can't collect the information and go about their daily business because the media's got these guys on the run at the moment, as, as do we, because uh, we're all asking questions. The issue here is not about that whether the data was breached or not, and that's an issue for your organisation. So if you're keeping credit card details, if you're keeping customers' names and addresses and birth dates and phone numbers and all of that information about your customers, if you're keeping customers' paperwork, um, if you're keeping intelligence on what people have bought, what people have sold, that's all information that can be assembled. Now there's three things to concern yourself there is, A, obviously you want to protect that so that you don't give away that information to someone who's not supposed to have it, but more importantly, which is the, is the real issue here today, is the integrity of that data secure and that's probably the biggest issue for today that I'd like you guys to think about as your businesses evolve, as time goes on, the filing and the records and all of those sorts of things that you're keeping that's your information or your customer's information or just the information you need to do business is that being looked after. So, so remembering three things. Obviously you want to protect the information so people don't get it who are not meant to have it. You want to make sure it's always available so that you guys continue to use it and that you don't corrupt it necessarily. And you obviously want to have only the people that need it for their workflow to be able to access it. One of the programs that you can look at from an international basis is there's an international standard called ISO 27001. And that's all around data security, data integrity, um, looking at threats, uh, attacking and, and those sorts of things. And definitely some of the topics we've talked about in this, um, in this press conference today. Um, you know, whether there's a hack just to cause frustration or whether there's a hack to actually steal the information, it's definitely very valuable information that we're trying to collect in an online environment. Um, and I don't think they were taking it serious enough. There was definitely a lot of PR around it. I'll leave it with you guys. I'd love to hear your comments. I'm interested in your thoughts uh, on what you guys are doing in your organisations. And this is a new area. So what we're looking for is to hear from you guys to tell us what you think at the moment is global best practice. If there's something we've talked about here today and you think there's someone that's got an opinion that we need to hear, share this post with them and get them to comment because that's something that we're looking for. So share this post uh, around. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube. Our YouTube channel subscribers are growing. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, we're here at Best Practice TV and uh, thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon.